Recorded live at PRS View Studios in Chicago, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, this is Dr. Roy Kim from San Francisco. I'm here with Matthew Hanasono from MD Anderson. We're going to talk about microvascular surgery. So in case you don't know, microvascular surgery is connecting blood vessels. It's very fine, delicate surgery requiring a microscope. So you have a paper coming out in October 2018 about interposition vein grafting. What exactly is that? Um, well, as you said, Roy, um, in microvascular surgery, we transplant tissue from one part of the body to another to reconstruct uh, wounds and surgical defects. Interposition vein grafting is used when the blood vessels that are used to restore blood supply to those tissues aren't long enough. So in other words, they act as an extension cord um, uh, for these flaps. Now the controversial point is that some surgeons worry that the use of interposition vein grafts could raise the failure rate of the tissue transplantation uh, because of clots possibly developing in the blood graft. So this is a, seri uh, a source of controversy among surgeons. So is interposition vein grafting safe and reliable? So we recently completed a study uh, which is the largest uh, study of interposition vein grafting in head and neck reconstruction. Um, and in this study of 241 patients, we found a success rate of 94% for vein grafted patients versus 99% for when we didn't use vein grafts. However, we found that vein grafted patients were more typically uh, more complicated and um, if we did not use microvascular free flap reconstruction, would have had uh, inferior cosmetic and functional results. So we concluded that interposition vein grafting was a safe procedure that allows reconstructive surgeons to most optimally perform functional and aesthetic reconstruction, but should be used judiciously because it does have a slightly lower success rate. Well, it's great that we have another option in microvascular surgery.